Hello, Internet. We are back. We've got Kevin Johnson here, former South African Police Force member, actually. We forget that. And then free to battalion as well. So he's seen both worlds. Now he's a very successful uh, businessman. He's got all sorts of plans. And today he's talking to us about revenue breakthroughs. Kevin, welcome here. Be grateful for you. And he's going to you now. Well, thanks, Chris, for your time, and thanks for obviously recording this video. So this session that we're going to give today is really based on the feedback that I got from, you know, mostly uh, military veterans, police veterans, because the Freedom series that we did was done specifically for legacy. So hence the reason, if you look at your following, it's mostly those type of people. So I got a lot of like sort of LinkedIn connections coming from it. And then there were a lot that, you know, reached out to me and said to me, could I get more specific? Because remember, we had eight freedoms, uh, freedoms through health, so on and so forth. And they said, could you go deeper into the freedoms through money, specifically around, you know, generating more revenue? So what we're going to share today is really a program for all veterans. That means whether you're from the police service, whether you're from the military, okay, um, whether you're from the, the prisons department. So it's for all veterans. And because a lot of the veterans are getting on now, they've got children who have become entrepreneurial. And also, they've got children themselves that are at an age now where they're becoming, you know, uh, ready to go into the business world. Then it's also for all those veterans out there who are employed but starting to feel the squeeze wherever they might be working and they're feeling that they need to go entrepreneurial. So it incorporates all of them. Now, let's just say up front, this thing is a commercialized product in one of my businesses. And uh, obviously, I'm based in the UK, and we charge £12,000, no matter where you are, for a year. Okay, but to the South Africans, okay, it is absolutely free. Obviously, the part where I can't be available for thousands and thousands of people is one-on-one -on -one with them. But we will be doing it also in group sessions, which we will mention as we proceed. So that's why we are where we are today. Um, so, yep, this program I also want to mention to you is come about by me taking a, imagine a spreadsheet and having three columns and imagine you in the infantry and imagine you went to infantry school and uh, light infantry and you were getting ready for the border. So the first column, okay, would be all the things that you did at the infantry school. And then the second column, preparing you for the border, would be that stunt that you go with the infantry school to Oshibala. So that would be the second column. And then the third column as a light infantry would be what would you now need from the first column and the second column to be something that's effective in light infantry at 3 2 Battalion. Because that's the only experience that I had in the military. So basically, what I'm going to share with you today, that analogy is similar to what I'm going to uh, share with you today. But instead, this is about revenue breakthroughs. So it's not really the first column, all the stuff. It's not the middle column, but it's actually the very, very key stuff that you must focus on. So there's not a hell of a lot. However, you need to focus on this stuff. I've cut out all the frills and focused on the third column, the most important thing. So I just wanted to share that sort of analogy compared to, you know, when we were in the infantry. Do you have any questions before we kick forward? No, I just want to say that everything in business is about uh, financial breakthroughs. Absolutely. 
I must also say this is about revenue generating breakthroughs in businesses, and we're not speaking about investments. Okay, so what we'll do here, we will go through it once again, just like with the Eight Freedoms course, as if you are the student. And so then we'll keep it as practical as possible. Okay, so if you could do me a favor, so what will basically happen is when you are on the receiving end of seeing this video, down at the bottom of the video will be a unique link. And that's how you're coming to our world so that we can show you all the stuff. So if you could click on that link, or let's go to that page first. Okay, so to all those listening out there, uh, if you want to proceed to obviously uh, look for revenue breakthroughs, this is how you would come into our world. That link, when you click on it, you'll get here. Okay, so once you're here, it's all self-explanatory. It's revenue breakthroughs. You're now assessing yourself to see whether you have the right mindsets and the eight of them. And it's really for ambitious people, people that want to be creative, people that want to be cooperative. So what we then do is we click on the let's start. Okay, so uh, of course, you don't need to go through this now because you need to spend some quality time on it. It normally takes five to 10 minutes to do a proper assessment of yourself. And this obviously you will be doing at the convenience of sitting at your computer at home and it'll just be you and the screen. And so what I'd like to do is just show you what the eight mindsets look like. So that's the first one, revenue through courage. And then you would then read those three definitions and click the one that's most you. So do me a favor, just click on the last one so we can get to the next page. There we go. And then the second one is to see what sort of transformative purpose you have in the business. Because the one thing that we do know is that if you want to be successful as an entrepreneurial person, you need to have a purpose as to why you're doing it. And then that purpose and that passion and that vision is what motivates you so that you can set goals and work towards that objective. So that's the second mindset. And we move to the third one. And the third one is that it's always a good thing to generate revenue through what you do with who you collaborate with, how you use your time, and how you use your money in your business. So once again, you'll look on the one, two, three, four blocks and decide where you are, and then we move to the next. Okay. And then what you want to do is for this whole program that you're going to be working on, is to identify, okay, your best target market and then go for it to get those revenue breakthroughs. So that's the next one. Right. And then also uh, for the vast majority of people, if you have the right mindsets, especially around technology, okay, then there's lots of technologies waiting for you out there that can assist you to accelerate your revenue breakthroughs. So once again, you'll just measure yourself here as to you know, what sort of mindset you have towards technology. And then we move to the next one. You know, uh, it varies from company to company. Okay, but most companies today can be using digital marketing to accelerate their revenue breakthroughs. So there once again, is the next one, okay? And then, what intellectual shortcuts are you acquiring to accelerate your revenue? So we'll be showing you how to work on intellectual shortcuts. These are not irresponsible shortcuts, but they're intellectual. 
And then lastly, those who did go through the eight freedoms, they'll, they'll see that, that there again, we've got the revenues through ambitious goals. And that's a very important one, because it plays a big role in the whole program. So those are the eight, so you want to click to the next sheet. Okay, so if you just put your name in here, you haven't scored yourself, but if you just put your name in here and your email address, and this is exactly what our veteran buddies will be doing. Okay, and then immediately what it would do, if you scroll down, it will tell you how you scored yourself. Obviously, you've just 100% because you're going to do it in your own quiet time. You scroll down further, and then what it will basically do, it will recommend key areas of improvement. Yeah, key areas of improvement. You scroll down further. Okay, and then next step, book a call. At this stage, obviously, that won't be applicable going forward because this is a free program given to the veterans. But with my paid clients, you know, they would book a call there. So we can now come out of this. And um, you can move just, sorry, there we go. So basically, that's the first step of four steps. So what I'm very mindful of, is that when it comes to mindsets and moving those mindsets when you do your assessment, that there can be lots of mental blocks, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to call upon my mate from 3-2, Franz von Staden, a lot of the people know him. He's a psychologist. And then when we do big group sessions, okay, what we'll be doing is we'll be calling upon him and he will then be talking through, not individually, but he will be talking through, for example, the top five things that hold you back from being more ambitious. Okay. He talks about things like imposter syndrome, those type of things. So what we're going to do is in the first phase which is all about the mindsets which you've gone through, and you will get a detailed report back, okay? And when we do do the group sessions, then obviously we'll have France there as well. So what do we mean by group sessions? Group sessions means that we'll all come together, you'll obviously be invited via email, and then you will come to the Zoom enterprise. We'll all be in the main auditorium, Okay, it'll obviously be muted because there'll be lots of people there. And then what will actually happen is we'll have some guest speakers and then the person monitoring the messages will monitor the messages and the important ones will get the guests to answer. And then we'll take three or four or five people to raise their hands and take their questions. But more important of all, we will have 100 classrooms and then we'll break the people up into the classrooms. And those will be small little groups where you can then chat about the program of ours that you're actually going through. So you'll be able to chat to other people who are doing the program. So I just want to re-emphasize again, this is for all the veterans from the military, the police, the prisons department, it's for their children and also for their grandchildren that are now going into the business world. Right, so that's the first step, mindsets, okay? Then we move. So once you've done that electronically, and all we're wanting from you is obviously your first name, and your email address. We obviously got to have your email address. And when we send you the information, we like to call you by your name. So that's all we need in from you. We don't need mobile numbers and what unit you were in, et cetera, et cetera. That's not important. And then what will actually happen 
is that once you've done that assessment, because that's how you're coming to our world, at the end, like you saw the report pop up, what will now be waiting for you in your inbox, okay, is an email with certain things that I've obviously written on there together with a PDF report of your assessment, immediately telling you what areas you can start focusing on, what areas you need to start improving. So let's just say for argument's sake, you did the assessment this afternoon, you would immediately get that first email. And then over the next 10 days, okay, you would probably be receiving another two or three emails from us, just easing you into the material. Some messages, a link to a PDF, a short video, and then basically what will happen is every week you'll be getting information on one of the mindsets that you can really now start to go deep so that you can move those mindsets to where you need to move it. Now, I'll give you an example of one of the emails. One of the emails that you will receive is to say, well, if I'm going to be settling quarterly goals to achieve breakthroughs, you've got to have some sort of vision. So therefore, what we'll do is we'll send you the questions via email, we'll send you a PDF, we'll send you a video, and then you know that's your homework for that week. Now you've got a clear idea of what your bigger future is looking like, and then you wait for the next email. And the one thing I would say to you is that your email will come on exactly the same day. So there's tremendous, you know, routine and consistency in the whole program. So you'll be getting the email once a week, and if it's on a Wednesday, it'll come every Wednesday. Okay, so now you've got the bigger future, and then what will basically happen is during the course of the following weeks, we'll keep sending stuff to help you strengthen the mindsets, and also, straight after establishing the bigger future, the very next week, okay, there will be a PDF and videos where you start to set your revenue goals. And the revenue goals is basically taking any business and seeing your business as a four-dimensional business. Not important to remember these things now because it'll all be nicely spelt out every week when we send it to you. And I can tell you now, if you are successful, ambitious, if you are resourceful, okay, then you will definitely find more than enough time to do the exercises every week. That I can assure you, you definitely will find enough time. And so what will basically happen when it comes to your business, rather than seeing it as a one-dimensional business, you see it as a four-dimensional business. So what does that actually mean? Well, number one would be, who do you really want to be a euro to? And there's a reason why you ask yourself that question, because you see, to be a euro to a group of clients. There are certain capabilities that you need to develop. And so you could almost say, rather than developing you know, capabilities, you're developing Euro capabilities. Okay? You want to be absolutely unique in your chosen target market so that you don't have to worry about competitors. And then the next uh, one of the four is what we call the leads unit. And the leads unit's going to teach you how you put yourself into a position where you always got enough leads in the pipeline so that you can meet your ambitious goals every quarter when it comes to revenue. So that's the second one. The third one we'll focus on is the sales unit. And the sales unit is how can you get more effective 
in your sales department. And then the last one is what we call the more sales unit. And there what you're looking at is to say, how can I give my clients lifetime value? How can I make more out of them? How can I orchestrate referrals out of them? And some people have said to me, well, Kev, this is all very well, but you talk about the leads unit, the sales unit, and the more sales unit. We only two in the business. I say, well, that's no problem at all because you just double up. You don't have to have manpower in each of the units. I've actually seen people use it fantastically well where, you know, they've got a wife that helps them for two hours a week and it's just them in the business. But what they do know by setting the goals, okay, is that they give in the right attention to each of the units in the business. So rather than seeing it as a one-dimensional business, you see it as a four-dimensional business. Okay? Now, when it comes to those four parts of your business, we got a formula. we got a process. Not important to remember it now. we got a formula, a process that works. It's timeless. Okay? And it's G R. O W. So in each of those units, you'll come up with four ambitious goals, not normal goals, ambitious goals. And under that G, you'll be clear on what you're wanting and why you're wanting it. And then you move to the R, which is results. And there you put best results and worst results. Best results is if you get going with this goal. What could the best result look like? And always in the best results, you always have a number. Now, we in our organization like working every quarter. So we'll have sales targets every month, but we like measuring our goals quarterly. So you've got a, a due date, a quarter out. Because the brain needs to know how long has it got. You can't have it open-ended. Then the brain gets confused. So you know what the goal is. What do you want? Why do you want it? You know the result, best result. And then worst result is if you don't get off your ass and attempt to do it. And then we get to what we call the O, the obstacles. And there... Rather than seeing obstacles as negatives, you need to change the mindset, and France will speak about this, and see obstacles in a positive light, because that's just how the brain works. The brain comes up with the vision, a goal and a result, and then the brain sees the obstacle. Now, negative obstacles are when you run away, you procrastinate, or you go, oh, no, this is mission impossible. A positive obstacle is, wow, the brain has now just highlighted to me there's just three things that I need to overcome, okay, to get to my result. Now, another thing that's going to help you tremendously is the W. Now, one of the biggest things that causes procrastination when setting an ambitious goal where you don't quite have it worked out yet is when you say to yourself, how? How on an ambitious goal intends to cause procrastination? So we know as veterans, we're going to stop with immediate effect, saying how, but instead we're going to reframe the question and we're going to ask who is going to help us? And then you know. You're off to the races. We're going to, a villain rutter walks in, spends two days there with the mana, two, three guys with him. They find a base. They walk out. We go in with pumas, maybe last light, walk in the whole night. Imagine if you're having to do all that yourself. But we know we've got lots of who's around, okay? Because, you see, when Falcon came up with the goal 
what do I want? Why do I want it? You know, when that brigadier or Colonel Lord sat back there on Dangs, okay, or, yeah, on Dangs, he'd go, oh, I, we buy, we as the Air Force, we buy into this why. Not the what. He bought into the why. It's exactly the same story. Then we know at first light, you know, if the troops start to smoke a bit of ganja, then we know there's going to be a base there. Then we go, huh, not how are we going to do it? Who's going to do it with us? Ah, we got Harry Anderson in there, or we got Neil Ellis coming in. It's the same approach when pursuing ambitious goals. Stop being a jerk and always asking yourself how. Ask yourself who. You'll be very surprised. Now, one thing I can tell you, from hundreds of successful entrepreneurial people that I've worked with over 30 years, okay, is that when you set an ambitious goal, they're not interested in what, these who's. They want to be involved with people that have got a strong why in their goal. And I guarantee you, set an ambitious goal, you have a strong why, you'll see you'll start to attract those who's to actually help you. And it's that GROW, G-R-O-W, that we use to tackle those four ambitious goals. So all the stuff that I'm talking about is also based on 29 years of having worked with very successful entrepreneurial people. So, you know, this third column of consolidating, where I use the military as analogy, okay, this is what I'm sharing here with you, okay? It's not fringe stuff. This is the core. So now you've got your four goals, and obviously week after week, we'll be sending you things to help you, okay, get to the end of that quarter, so that when we come to group sessions, you'll then be able to have achieved your revenue breakthroughs, which is the fourth part of the program. Don't have to remember all of this because you'll be getting a PDF that shows you the four right up front. In actual fact, it will be at the bottom of this video. And then the last quadrant is where we give you a format, takes you no more than 15 minutes, to have a look at the results of your four goals and then articulate it in a process that we give you so that you can come up with an intellectual shortcut that helped you to get to those revenue breakthroughs through the ambitious goals that you set. So the intellectual shortcut, which is to do with revenue breakthroughs, would have been achieved through the effort that you put into your four ambitious goals. So now you've got a one-pager, you can share it with others in the breakout room, and then you'll be on the receiving end of others sharing theirs with you. With you. So there, once again, it's collaborative. Don't come to the meetings if you're coming to listen. Come to the meeting and say, I'm going to put my best foot forward when I go into that breakout room. Could it be five or six of you there? And then you know, if you put your best foot forward when going into the breakout room to share with them your intellectual shortcut, the template that we will be giving you, then you know you're going to be on the receiving end of good ones. Because can you imagine if everyone takes the attitude of, oh, I'll just see what the other guy's done then there'll be nothing going down in the breakout room. And then what will basically happen is, you know, you'll turn around and say, wow, coming to this breakout room was a waste of time. Now, I can assure you now, we owe it to the people that want to give it a good go. That's not going to happen in my breakout rooms because we've got algorithms that monitors that very carefully. And what you will discover is that all of a sudden, there'll be no screen of people anymore. I will just kick you out the, the, the classroom. Now, we've all been in the military and the police and the prisons before, and we've all been yacht by the corporal. So there will be low-level yachting people here as well. So all I ask, guys, and I know I can trust that the money will come there, but, you know, do make an effort. 
And then every quarter and every mid-quarter, you get a link. When the time arrives, you click on the link and you come into the auditorium. There'll be one or two guest speakers, as I said, and then you go to the breakout room. So those coming to those two events is vitally important because that keeps the momentum going. And then you're going to be with others. And obviously, there's that accountability. You know, I need to be giving input as to how I've progressed. And obviously, we'll be having the RSM on standby. And, you know, we don't want him to start shouting and swearing, you know. So that's basically the process. Um, as I said, it's 12K. But for the veterans of South Africa, military, police, prisons, their children, their grandchildren, it's free. Okay, so you probably think, well, you know, what, what's the catch here? Well, you see, the thing is that we run what we call an exponential business where we leverage big time off data and big time off the technologies and that. So, you know, we have the ability to scale up massively with not too much extra cost, not too much extra cost. This is free. Okay, there's no catch here. Okay, but you got to put the effort in. You must want this. You must want it badly. And then, you know, what we've done here is we've just consolidated what, you know, hundreds of successful entrepreneurial people have paid me lots of money and they use this stuff. So, you know, this is not some lecturer at university or at the college. You know, this is the real stuff. Also, the other thing that I would share, would like to ask of everyone is that um, when you receive this stuff, don't keep it to yourself. Your personal stuff, obviously, you keep to yourself. But when you receive this stuff, you know, do share the link with others. Because, you know, I personally believe if we've got 50, 60, 70,000 people using the program, it means that that veterans uh, network is only going to about benefit. Also, I must just stress that those who are committee members of the various veterans associations, you know, please do come and uh, go through the course because you can be using what I discussed, okay, to look at revenue breakthroughs for your associations. So this is also for all the veterans associations out there. So there we go, Quiz. Mooi, man. 45 minutes. Yeah, it's very short pause, actually, but it's the right length. I, I only have two things. Uh, Kevin, when they complete this, this, this form of yours, the online form, how honest do they have to be with themselves? Well, that's a very interesting question because what we've actually found out with the big data is that, you know, when you're sitting across someone, then uh, they might fib a little bit because there's a bit of embarrassment and all of that. But the way we do it here, which is digital, and they're sitting at home or they're sitting at work, there's very, very little dishonesty. It's just how the human functions And on our side, you know, there's a little bit of algorithms looking at it and creating some reports and that for you. So, you know, there's there's no human intervention here. So, no, no, people don't fib. And then someone also said to me, but what happens if you're offering this to the veterans and that? And then all of a sudden, you know, they got a brother that wasn't a veteran and now he gets hold of the link and he comes in. Quite frankly... It makes no difference to me that uh, I've, I've noticed that there's very little line that goes on. But if you've got a brother and he's not, and he desperately needs revenue breakthroughs, then, then give it to him. Give it to him. I'm going to be brutally honest with you too. You know, South Africa is not my market because I'm in the UK 
and we are international, so we intend to to chase the big currencies. I mean, you know, if you look at twelve thousand pounds, is what clients are paying here in the UK. You know, that's a lot of dash if you're converting it to rands. But in answer to your question, people are honest. Okay, and then I suppose because you have the CRM program running in the background, you will be able to decide and tell me when you want your uh, quarterlies or your yes, give us those type of things, and they will be informed by way of email. Yeah, so we'll come by this the legacy to notify people like in your um, Sotrep on Sundays, and then obviously those who are have completed the assessment and have stayed opted in. Because by law, at the bottom of each of the emails must be the ability for you to unsubscribe. So basically, if you unsubscribe, then that's the end of the relationship. You won't get any further things. But as long as you've stayed subscribed, then via the emails, we'll also be notifying you that this is the upcoming event, who will be speaking, etc. Here's the link. You can save it then to your, you know, your calendar and you're off to the races. And obviously, when we have it, you and I will be mindful, you know, that it's going to be fitting into South African time. Although I'd imagine, you know, because of your channel now being international, there's going to also be, you know, veterans from other countries that are going to be doing the assessment. And, you know, we're cool with that. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's it. This is a unique chance. Thank you for that, Kevin. You know, if you said to me, pay £12,000, even in Switzerland, we would have struggled to do that. I think in South Africa, it's totally impossible. But that's the kind of service you're being offered here. Please take it off. Because as Kevin say, while it's free, you have to do something here. And at the end of the day, you will know what you want in life. And I think that's the most important thing in business, to know what you want, where you're eating, and then you can also, of course, see if you're getting there, or you're not getting there, and why not. And that's where France Mastalin comes in. Am I yes, correct? 100% correct, because, you know, he he's that guy that's got the skills of 30 years to just help you shift the mindset. The other thing I want to also just mention to the people, and I get not as often now, but I, I still get caught in this trap, namely, you know, all these self-help books that are out there where you do a lot of reading, et cetera, et cetera. I spoke to one guy that's in that industry, and he's enormously successful. And I said to him, you know, I don't get it. That there's always one more book to read, one more verse, one more that before I get going. And he just smiled at me and he said, yeah, that is the sad part. But he said, you know, that's the industry I mean. It's one more book to read before you can do it. And, you know, I thought, thought long and hard about that and I went, oh, and then the penny dropped for me one day. And I must be honest with you, I don't think military every day of my life. But I thought military. And where it took me to, it took me to the counterinsurgency training, the coin, at Milioscope. So I was young, out of school, just a couple of months up there. Obviously, the instructors are like real old mana. You know, they're not like the infantry school, 19, 20, 21. You know, these guys, mana are like 30 odd. They've been in Rhodesia, five, six tours. And what I observed there was the following. We were a small group of 20 odd on the six, seven week course. And we were in a tent. And there was him in front. And there was a table. And he said, right, today we're talking about the LMG. Because can you believe it? Um, a couple of years later, I went to the uh, infantry school. They still had the brain. And we had the LMG there in the scope. So come on, so short. What I noticed, there were three phases. And then I sorted infantry school as well. And I went back to infantry school when I was at three, two, a couple of times, too, for like the, the missile course and the... 106 and the mortars and that. But what I noticed is there was like three phases to it. He spoke about the LMG 
for a short while, very short while, just spoke about it. Then he bent down and he brought it up. Boom. That's the first time we've seen it. And then he started to point fingers and that and that. But the bulk of the time was we had to get out of the tent. Now start to feel it, pick it up, start to take it apart. And what we are noticed there is that you think you've taken in a lot. You think you've taken in even more when he's shown you. But then when you start to handle it, you realize how little you actually know about the LMG. Now, that's exactly the same with this program. Okay, you need to take action. That third part of how you train someone on the LMG or the 81 pipe is you've got, a, you've got 60 minutes, spend 40 minutes on the actions. Whereas with the self-help gurus, they tell me it's the other way around. People are spending 40, 45 minutes reading up and then 10 minutes on the action. And we know why with the action, because with the action, you know, you're having to commit and be courageous because you don't quite know. There was a story you told me once about uh, Falcon, the commander of the uh, pre battalion, who was giving a lecture or a briefing, perhaps, perhaps a briefing. And you people were sitting under a tree on a, a, a stump. Yes. A big stump. Can you tell me about that? Well, he used to stand there with his, he, it looked like he had sunglasses, but I don't think there were sunglasses. And then he had the stick. And then he had that, what's it, flip chart or whatever it is. But he used to get to certain parts of the order group and then he used to say it in a way as if you needed to. Take that part especially and say it aloud in your own head. So everything was important in the order group, but there were certain parts where you just sit in there to think, because he's looking down at you because you're sitting, and you just think, oh, that part I've got to take in. So to me, that was always something that I took to the business world because I said to myself, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in the first column. And then, you know, everyone's out there that's familiar with the 80-20 principle. So then you're 80-20, so that you're sitting with fewer things. because you know, They're more important than the first column. And then if you're 80-20, the, the, the second column, you come up with the third column, which is the stuff I'm sharing with you. Now, in my mind, that stuff, that the way he said it, like rehearse that now quickly in your head is like the third column, the critical inch. And then you just know, you know, if you make sure that you're on the critical inch, you're going to be okay. And then, you know, when they that, that call comes or if you give it, you know, um, what do they say? All stations, all stations, stand up, <clears throat> advance to contact. Then you know. All the stuff you've been pulling together. So exactly with this program, you know, you get your mindsets right. France will help you. You get your bigger picture. You go get your four ambitious goals. You got the Neil Ellis's to help you. The gunships. You got the mortars to help you because you're not going to say how anymore. You're going to ask who, and then you're going to come out. Okay, with revenue breakthroughs in the fourth quadrant, and you come share it with other people. That's what it's all about. Come away with a victory. That's exactly how I want to leave this episode. It's just to say to the people, imagine you're in this breakout room, right? Because you've actually gone further. You didn't just dismiss it as nonsense. Now you're sitting there and you say to yourself, man, I need I need to do something on LinkedIn, but I, I know not, nothing about LinkedIn. I, I know even less than nothing. And the guy next to you says, but was a useless guy. He's, he's very good. He, he actually helped me. Yes, That's the yes. type of thing you're trying to do here. Yeah, and I'll go one step further because when you actually are setting your goals, okay, at the beginning of the quarter, that you'll be asking yourself who. So, therefore, before you get to the mid-quarter, 
which is what, six weeks. You've got six weeks to work out who's going to be helping you. Now, 90% of the success of who's going to be helping you is due to the fact that you've made a shift in your mindset to say, moving my business forward, I'm going to start looking at who. That's 90% of the success. Now, let's just assume you don't find a who for one of the four goals. Then mid-quarter, when you get together, you can ask in the room or you can put in the message box. But what will I know will happen is you'll be getting to mid-quarter and instead you'll be telling people the progress you've made. And they'll be sharing with you the progress they made. And I guarantee you the progress will be more weighted than I haven't got this yet or I haven't got that yet. And we'll watch these things very carefully because it's revenue breakthrough. So, you know, if the data and the surveying and the polling is telling us that LinkedIn's important, then obviously what we'll do is we won't share with you the first column of LinkedIn stuff, not the second column. It will always be the third column that we share with you. So it will be exactly like I'm sharing with you here. We will take the critical inch and share that with you. Because if you look at it, you know, you get back to that uh, military one. We were taught a lot of things at infantry school. And then when we went to Oshivala, then, you know, then they started to focus on other things to make us effective on the border. And then, you know, for a guy like myself, I then went to 3-2. Then a lot of the first column, they said, get rid of. A lot of the second column, get rid of. Then they gave me new skills in the third. And then I had my critical inch to be able to do my job in light infantry at three two. It's the same principle that I'm trying to apply here so that you know we're not giving you low level stuff. But oh, just like at three right. just like just like at three two and similar to this, if we're giving you the critical inch, we're giving you the intellectual shortcuts, you know, then just like a 3-2, you've got to show a bit of commitment and courage because, you know, 3-2 wasn't for everyone. But once you showed some commitment and some courage, well, you know, I've said it before, 3-2 was then at Buffalo like a bloody holiday farm. I mean, I, I looked about a year ago and I see these resorts across, just across the river there from Buffalo, 3-2 in the Caprivi, $485 per person per night. We got it for Zulch, paid no rent. And they gave us time to pay. <laughs> okay, now we've got that. So I want to ask everybody, is this get switched on, get involved, spread the word, and then we'll see you in the breakout rooms, I think, within as soon as possible. Yeah, this quarter. This quarter it is. And I would yeah. like to see every one of you here. Please, come. Let's help ourselves. No one else is going to help us.